Hello friends, welcome to Pinos Totten. In this video, we are going to see a short review on Gamma Supreme, a light brown pattern, a flat top and bottom, a bonnet fountain pen. And here, this video is specifically taken to give you the clear insights on the pen because just with photos, you cannot fully understand about this. So here, this is a light brown pattern body and cap, which has a, a length black color portion in the bottom and in the top also. And you can find this is quite a huge pen and the brand's name Kama was mentioned in this body. And this is not the same, mat same material. This is a separate one. It is fixed here. But it is a very smooth finished one so you can't, can't even find by touching. And in the top two. A silver color clip, a very long silver and uh, a silver ring also there. And in the cap, the, there is a hole, a breather hole. In uh, This will prevent the ink from glogging and maintains a balanced atmospheric pressure so that the ink does not leak or drop ink through the nips. And let me open this, the long twisting type one. And here this is also a abonate finished grip portion. And this is number 35 nib which has a fine tip silver pleated one. And the branch name Gamma was mentioned in this nib. And you can swap with any other number 35 nib. Since we have number 35 nibs in many brands and especially in Candred we are having fine, medium, broad and again with gold, dual tone and silver pleated nibs. And also flex nibs can be swapped in this pen. And for that you can go to a site, click pen splash, then go to nibs and there you can use a filter and make a query on what you require. And let me open this. All the threads are turned to O02. To increase the life of the thread, please apply silicone grease or Vaseline in the thread portion whenever you are opening and closing during the ink fill. And also, whenever you fill the ink fill below the inner threads, if you fill in excess, the leakage path will create it and you will spoil your hands. And as this is a very big, big uh, reservoir, you can fill more than 5 ml of ink in this. And a very long thread and on pen maintenance please wash the pens regularly that is twice a month because all the dye based ink will precipitate it on the longer usage so it will block the ink's passage in the feeder so we'll get a scratchy writing and slowly the ink will dry quickly and then you may have to shake the pens for the ink flow to come out the reason is the blockage in the feeder scrub so to clean the deposits and dirts, please remove the nib and the feeder unit separately by holding this together and pull it and twist and pull it out. And it came out very easily but in some gamma pins this is a quite toughest job. If you can't, you can or uh, don't write a lot, don't give so much of pressure because it may uh, damage the feeder. And we are having those tools to remove this. Just try. If can't, you can uh, easily call contact us. We are doing pen services also. We are having a uh, ultrasonic cleaning machine for for pens, so we will do services. And after removing, you can flush the feeder with the help of any brush or clean it well with soap water. If you're soaking in soap water, then allow it for an hour and brush and clean. And in some ink bottles itself, you can notice on every fill it is recommended to clean the pen with water. So it is clear, unless otherwise we have good cleaning and maintenance, the flow will be affected. And also few nibs need to be fine tuned because during the manual assembly of nibs, the tines may stick together. So gently push the tines up and down so it will create some space in between the tines. So we will get a smooth writing and a very good ink flow in turn. And whenever we dispatch the pens to a customer, we do this fine tuning and we will check before dispatch. This is our usual practice. And let me give the writing sample of this pen with our penthouse emerald green ink.
Vamos lá. A very smooth writing one. And with uh, with my holding, you can find this. This is how much whole, a huge pen is this. Awesome writing, a very good flow and a very very smoothness. And here, let me give the measurement of this pen. Here, the holding area's diameter is 14.2 mm, and the body's diameter is 17.2 mm and the length of this pen without cap is 152.8 uh, mm with cap I can't measure it now it is that much huge one and the total weight of this pen is 41 grams and I already said this has a very good huge uh, capacity to uh, the reservoir capacity so you can fill more than 5 ml of ink in this barrel this is highly recommended pen for the bigger fingers and pen lovers who they have if you, if you try to write with this pen you will definitely stick with this you will like uh, you will like a lot this and yeah if you have any query about this pen you can ask in the comment section or else you can make a call to a mobile number thanks for watching this video thank you